Hey goalie fans, here are 10 things that goalies want you to know. And no, we're not going to be talking about warm-ups. That could be a video of its own. Number one, goalies have to be really good at skating. It actually doesn't look like it. Actually, that was one of the appeals to goaltending for me, that it didn't require a lot of skating. Or at least, that's what I thought. But goalies skate a lot especially if they're not as big like I am. We have to be moving sideways, forward, backwards, down, up, all over the place. There's so much that goalies have to do in the skating department, it's not even funny. Not only do we have to get in a certain direction, we have to decide how to get in that direction. And that can be hard. Not only do we have to do a lot of skating, but number two, goaltending in general is way harder than it looks. You have to have absolutely laser kind of hand-eye coordination. It's kind of scary. And you would think that goaltending is just stop the puck. Let it hit you before it goes into the net. And yeah, that's the idea behind goaltending. But there is so much that goes into that. Like I said, all the skating. But you also have to figure out what kind of save you're going to make. Where is he going to shoot it? How to react? Goaltending is purely reactionary. You just have to guess sometimes, and sometimes you're wrong. Which means that goaltending is just as much mental, if not more, than it is physical. If you think of the physical strain that goaltending puts on people's bodies, there's a reason Ben Bishop almost retired. And because goaltending is a mental game, number three, there is a very good reason goalies are really weird. It's just because we have to be. Who else would think it was a good idea to get smacked by a hockey puck over and over and over and enjoy it? Because goaltending is such a mental task, we have to be in the right mindset to stop pucks, which is why we're forever early to the rink, why we have so many crazy pregame rituals, and honestly, all that kind of thing we do. We have our own spot in the locker room, a lot of us, or at least I do, I don't know about anyone else but we like to have the corner spot by the wall. It's just where we go. I don't know how to transition this, but to the next thing, I lost track of numbers. If we need to make a really spectacular save, something was off. Whether it was our angles, whether we weren't square to the puck, or maybe if the per player just moved the puck and we didn't move quick enough or whatever. Like you see all those textbook saves by Marc-Andre Fleury or that guy with the San Diego goals. But in all reality, either the player was doing something very right there or the goal goalie was doing something very wrong. Or maybe the rest of the team was doing something wrong, like the defense not getting on the guy, or the other team was doing something wrong. I don't know, but something was off in order for us to have to make that good of a save. Which brings me to the next thing. Not every goal is our fault. But Mike, the goaltender's job is to make sure that the puck doesn't go in the net, and if the puck goes in the net, the goaltender has failed, no? Well, sort of, but... Honestly, goaltending is only part of hockey. Hockey is a team sport. If a goal goes in, it might not be on us because maybe we just miscalculated where it was supposed to be or where we were supposed to be. Or maybe the other player is Connor McDavid. And a lot of the times it might be the defense. The defense might be screening us and we can't see the puck. If we can't see the puck, we don't know when the player's gonna shoot it. And in turn, that means we don't know how to react to the puck, which in turn, in turn means the puck is going to go in. Which relates to the next thing, defense, let us stop the puck. I know it's just really, really tempting to get a good block, and especially when you've been doing it really well all game. And honestly, there's absolutely nothing wrong with blocking shots. I love it when my defense blocks the shot for me. But that being said, like I just said, if we can't see the puck, we don't know when they're gonna shoot it, and in turn, we don't know how to react. So if we tell you to move, you need to move. And I don't mean closer to the puck. I had a teammate once that did that all the time and it really messed with me. I get how much fun stopping the shot is. I'm a goalie, it's what I love to do. But please, sometimes you just gotta leave it to us. Next thing, do not shoot when we're not set on the puck. This is something I'm going to cover in my warm-ups video, but in short, goalie gear doesn't have a lot of padding, especially on the back. So you can really hurt a goalie, but not only that, it's just annoying. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Next thing, goalies don't necessarily have to be big. I mentioned in my story video about how I was discouraged from goaltending because people said I wasn't big enough. But here's the thing, goalies don't technically have to be big. They just have to be able to move. Yes, goalies have to be able to take up the entire net, but there are ways of doing that without being massive. 
whether it be by being closer to the puck or flailing our arms about or whatever, goalies don't necessarily have to be big to take up the entire net. However, if you're a smaller goalie, you have to be able to move, which is why it's always advantageous for a goalie to be both really big and really mobile. And finally, listen to your goalie. I'm not the be all and end all of goaltending. I never was, and I probably never will be. I started playing at age 21. What can you expect me to know? So listen to your goalie. If he says to shoot on you a specific way, please do. And if he says to help you out a certain way, you need to, or the puck's gonna go in. Every goalie's different. Every goalie has different preferences. Every goalie has different things that they wish that their team would do. Like I like to say sometimes, my net, my rules. Talk to your goalie, it's their net, their rules. It's just how it works. So yeah, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're a goalie, comment some of the things that I missed in this video down below so people can read them. Peace out.